So everybody is here except for Mason and this. Mason, again, if it's his birthday. Okay, that was last week. I Happy lied, birthday, but... Mason. Oh. Wait, not... where the fuck's this? This said he had a personal thing this come up and grounded. cannot. He didn't get grounded. Heck, did That we know of. Yeah. Oh my god. I just. <laughs> ah, okay. So this said he had a personal thing come up and has to dip from the session. And he also added in a sad face. So, no, it's serious. He's definitely grounded, though. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, we'll we'll make do with the crew that we have here, and we we haven't convened in the month. So let's do a recap from the last time a month ago, which actually Dodge had excellent memory to uh, recollect. Mm -hmm. So last time we left Oakwood and we traveled south west Port Cadence to meet up with Severus Bane. The sorcerer who, when we last saw him, was conversing with Dragon, and then met up with you guys in Stone Valley, asked you to help him in a in a in an incredibly important mission for himself. He's looking for something called the Crypt of Eternity. But in the meantime, he needs to acquire certain MacGuffins, I mean objects, to open said crypt. And he's asked you to help him with because tools. because because I said so. So traveled, and we did several random encounters, including a manticore. That was one of them. We also avoided an encounter with some natives. We didn't want to attack and kill the natives. So instead of going straight to Port Cadence from Stone Valley, we decided to go around through Barony Whitecrest. Stayed at an inn um, owned by a gnome. And afterwards, he left, and I, I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm fairly certain this was one of the points where, at some point, by the way, you got a ride with a, yeah, it was with a merchant, with a merchant, but I think that was to Stone Valley. I'm not sure if I'm... Yeah, um, I actually have that written down. On the way back, on the way back to Stone Valley, we encountered a merchant named with a name that I wrote down, um, who trades in the northwestern region. Yes. Um. Selling to the sellers was a supplier for Hammer Fist Co. Because I made you make up a name. Yep. Um, and um, he mentioned the port might be haunted. And, That's what it uh, is. Yep. Then I gave him a letter before we left too that people don't know about. But I did that. Um, that I totally definitely sent to Auto and remembered. Um, and I do recall you mentioned uh, delivering said letter to uh, Kino Misu. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, I had to deliver a, fam a family letter. Yeah. So he'll, yeah, when he gets. Um, so now we're at Port Cadence. We decided to stay at the local inn there, which was a piece of shit hotel, basically. And got your your rooms that were available, which there were two or three that were available. Uh, the other one was occupied, and you all rested for. Them. So at this time right now, it is the. It is the more, uh, yeah, the morning. And I don't know. I mean, Serox, you don't really sleep, so I don't really know what, what we're going to say the order of waking up is. Oh, hello, Mason. Oh, I'm sorry about I'm, being late. No problem. Uh, we just did the recap real quick. And okay. If you need the recap, I can send you my notes, Mason. Please. We, um, we, we are in the port, and we're waking up, is the idea. We, we, had the, we stayed at the tavern. We're at the port. We're waking up for, for the uh, morning. And... Uh, I mean, I was just pointing out Serox doesn't really sleep, but I don't know, like, who's getting up early or not. I mean, I, I'll just feel like chilling in my room reading a book until, okay. like, I assume other people are getting up. Uh, okay, okay, okay. And once people start getting up, Serox, you're you're up and about. I'm here. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that'll work. So, then, what I think we'll say for now is, unless otherwise specified, the whole group will go together down into the tavern um, main floor. So, okay, if, if somebody's like, no, I, I have to be there first, feel free to mention that. But if you're not, then we're just going to go as a group, and I will reveal the, the next, the tavern map. Um, unless there's a, somebody desperately needs um, Okay, I'm not hearing any objections. Good. You're all going together. You all go down to the tavern floor, which looks, which 
looks quite familiar because I'm not particularly unique in these taverns. It looks exactly the same as any other tavern you go to. Just gonna have to get used to that. But so this one has the hot pirate hooker. Not a pirate hooker. Was the hot pirate? There you go. In the Was the hot pirate hooker back in like the first session? Not, I don't think there was a pirate hooker. I don't recall a pirate hooker in the first session. Big titty pirate girlfriend? No, I didn't. I don't think so. Oh. I don't actually think. But this this is a pirate. Who, from first glancing at this person on the side, it looks like a pirate. So you all enter the main tavern floor. And this tavern, I've described it before. I'll do it again. It is a dank, empty place. Not particularly well kept. And while it is showing a lot of tables here, you can go ahead and, and assume that there's only like I, less than five tables. Or people may partake in whatever there is to have for a meal or drink. The bartender is a somewhat shady individual. Though, can't say for sure this person is, uh, you know, hiding some up his sleeve. Is uh, definitely not like the other tavern scene, so not particularly a... Um, Not pirate hooker. <laughs> so you all arrive, and um, there are two people at the bar. They appear to be having a conversation, and you all pointed out the pirate lady, then the bar, the barkeep. So if nobody's doing anything specific right away, I will just move with what will happen. The rest of the. Yeah, sure. I got nothing. Yep. Okay. Right. Uh -huh. That's perfectly fine. I just want to make sure nobody wants to actually like do something. So, you as a group notice uh, I put the name tag in there. I hope you can see the name, by the way. Um, yep. It should be seen. Perfect. So, you do see uh, Severus. You've met him before in Stone Valley, as I mentioned. Hasn't really changed much. I uh, don't really see anything new about him from the last time you met him, which was. I'm recalling the calendar as about a week and a half ago at the very least, because it took you some time to travel to Oakwood and it took you to travel here. You, you could assume at least a week and a half has turned. But a good amount of time. And he appears to be talking to some to a strange individual. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and shift Z that person. He appears to be holding a scimitar of some kind. And a shield that is made of uh, made of wood, but it's uh, not. It doesn't look particularly well crafted. Not finely crafted, but it would make do for a shield if uh, if desperation kicked. It better be perfect pairing with that pot shield. I, I assume those are like strapped to his back, and he's not like wielding them right now. Uh, yes, he, they are strapped to the back, not wielding them. He appears to be having a drink at the table with Severus. They appear to be... Con and you all are visibly in the tavern main floor. Severus takes notice of you, as does the other individual. And the other individual stands, and um, you are close enough where you can hear him bid farewell to Severus. And he... Motions to leave the tavern. So, assuming motions, no... Like, to somebody else? Or, like, motions as in he's leaving? He's leaving. Okay. So, so he appears to be leaving now. And he, um... He is, uh... I won't say he's, like, swiftly running out the door or anything like that, but he he's definitely, um... He's not walking gingerly. So... Unless anybody actually wants to stop him, I'm just gonna just gonna get out of here. Nope. Okie dokie then. So, after that, he uh, Severus obviously has taken the view, and he says, "Ah, good, good. Let's let's sit. Let's have a seat. Let's have a seat." And he he motions to the closest table. We'll say it's to the side over there. Um. 
and assuming everybody's following with with uh yep. then we're going to move right to the table and there we'll we'll assume there's enough seating for everyone um so let me just drag get my outline up okay so you, as you you sit severus um nobody's brought you drinks or anything by the way and a, severus appears to have just a drink of what looks like water, just a clear liquid and he says well uh, you came, and I am quite glad that you did. Now, let me go ahead and cut to the chase. I'm here for a very specific item, and I need your help in acquiring it. We need a, it looks like a star thing. And this item, it's not, it's not a living creature. But it is an item that I require. Not that, right? <laughs> it's an item that I require to access the crypt that I am that I am seeking to. So, our job as a group is to lo to go to where the location is of this object and well deal with anything that stands in our way. Now. Obviously, there's a lot of information that is not readily available to you. you. May ask any questions you like to. The um, item that we are looking for is in a cove to the north of this town. It's called the Moonlight Cove. Are you planning to accompany us there, or are you? Oh, absolutely! I'm joining. No. no, I'm joining you. I'm definitely joining on this quest. It has been some time since I've been part been part of a group, and I I'd, I'd like to join you. No objection. And it's been a while. Remind me, uh, what exactly is our reward for completing this task? I've told you before, but it has been a while, so I will remind you. Your reward is, and he pulls out what looks like a token. It is a, it is not like a coin. It is, lar it's larger than that. It is the size of your palm. And he places it on the table and he says, this is your reward. If you complete all of my quests that I give you, where we obtain the objects I require, I will give you. This allows you to walk into the capital of this kingdom, into the halls of the king himself, and ask a single favor within reason of our dear lord. Do I recognize this token? Um, you do. You do. You do know... Of what it is, and that you know it's real, but beyond that, you're not sure. You have to delve into. Yeah, I I think I've heard of something like this before, so I think it's relatively trustworthy. Um, but do we even have anything we'd want of the kingdom? Besides, you know, fortune and etc. Um. Any weapon so desire that is within the grasp of the king? Would you now like you to say, be a landowner? You say all of your quests. Yes, How all of them. How many more quests do you expect from us? Well, unfortunately, I'm still gathering in from my own to figure out the location of all of them. This was the first one that I found more quickly than the other. I'm at I am anticipating that there will be at least three more that I will need you to help me complete. But one of them might be the... I'm, I'm waiting on one of them. One of them appears to be far more challenging than any other possible quest we would undertake. 
It involves it involves us slaying a mythical creature that I am not too keen on standing toe to toe with it. And again, remind me, what are you getting all of this? Access to this crypt? Yes. The Crypt what, of the Eternal Flame. What, pray tell, is in this crypt? Um... I don't like... Uh, when you finish the quest here, I'll tell you. I think he's the imposter. When, when we finish this one, I will tell you. This one. Fair enough. That will be your reward. As well. I will tell you what it is. Alright. Well. I feel like we, we are, are here. here. There's not much else to do here, is there? Uh, though I suppose we could just all become pirates. Well, I'm so glad you mentioned that. That does sound pretty exciting. And he pulls out a map of the town. <gasps> and he, Erica immediately gets excited and pulls out her little notebook. And he says, here, I have a map of the town. Those maps more I'm already drawing. Unfortunately, I didn't get to draw a wolf or a his, dinosaur. His, like... Otto, your map drawing abilities have been improving. Really? Of course. Yes. Oh, because I don't think this one's so, that good. This is so much neater and easier on the eyes than whatever monstrosity is the overworld map. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> That overlord, um, that that map is a gem. You take it easy on that map. It took some planning to make sure that all those were adequately placed. Then you know easily. they were they were definitely placed places for sure. I can confirm. There yeah, are lots there, of them. There are, there are place places. They were placed places. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why is there a haunted house? Why that haunted house? so so. Uh, I'm gonna have I mean, to interject on that, that one. In, to be fair, we I'm gonna that. I'm gonna interject, and Severus will say. Actually, this isn't called the haunted house, but I wrote that. The town folk, the townspeople here, think it's a haunted house. I have my suspicions. My guess is somebody with an arcane aptitude has uh, placed some spell on the house, trying to make others avoid the location. Uh, though it is not our uh, current objective. You're welcome to investigate when we are not on our list. I'm not going to stop you, but I won't join you either, because I don't care. That's, that's, that's pretty fair, actually. Uh, additionally, there is a wharf here that you can fish. Uh, I myself really enjoy it. So that will definitely be something I do. Are, are, are you a master baiter? A master baiter? Yeah, it's like the master mm, fisherman, you know. You I would say yes. Eating. Yes, I am, actually. Oh. I've caught many a fish in my time, and I suppose you could say I do masturbate quite often. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> you know, that should be my title. Mind. That that might be my title. I, I, I have many titles, and I could always... Oh, Severus Bane, the masturbator. Now, in, in, in addition to the Fisherman's Wharf, Welcome to go to the saloon. I may have walked by, and I quickly left. It did not smell pleasant. Uh, we are currently in this high tide inn, this establishment, and next door is a specialty shop where you can buy general goods if you wish. Uh, there's also a manor. Some wealthy individual is in the manor. I don't buy you to there, but it's worth noting that. I want to stop by and say hello, weirdo. Other than that, there's just a bunch of small houses for people who wish to venture into the sea. You're welcome to take a boat out to the tides of the. <sighs> that should be the main places to go and things you could do when to hang around after. Obviously, I'm not going to stop you. I... Curiosity is uh, something that is sometimes rewarded. I'm fatal to cats. Now, 
in addition to our little quest, we have something else we need to start. Probably take a nose into the lady in the corner to the side. Uh, I'm going to have to ask your help. I've tried coercing her to lend me her vessel so that we may go to the cove. I'm embarrassed to say that I don't have a boat of my own. However, my charms were not uh, persuasive enough to convince her to let me borrow it. I offer gold, but here saying she has nice dockers is not a not a compliment. Either. So, you're going to have to do it for me, so that we can we can actually sail there. Uh, the boats here, besides her vessel, not particularly safe, but we could use them. Um, Mr. DM. Yes. Does she indeed have nice knockers? Uh, yeah. Oh, nice. So, so you're going to have to do it for me. I apologize. Uh, it, uh, it pains me to say that my, uh, arms were not. Sway her to help. So you're going to have to do it for me. Pay for the vessel? Yeah, no, I'll, I will pay for it. Of course. I, I, I will pay for the, for the vessel. But you're going to have to because I have failed. Sounds pretty up your alley, um, Mr. Uh, Arden. <clears throat> one of you, one of you, go do it. One of you, charming sometimes. Use your devilish charms. I mean, last time Arden did charm person, he failed. But you know, he doesn't have to use charm person to be fair. He could just try what? being. Charming. Last uh, last time I did charm person. We don't know that about actually, that time. We don't know about that time. We actually don't. They actually don't. We actually don't know about that so, time. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. No. Spoon wasn't here. Try yeah, also wasn't about that time because he's monkey. But while uh while you weren't here uh what was I gonna say? While you while you weren't here, we used your character to charm some else. One sec, I'm gonna interrupt. Mason. It, you're it if you need a dip, work. just dip. Seriously, I'll give you a die. recap. What do you mean it did not work? I'll give you a recap, dude. Yeah, no problem. I'll give you. I'll give you a recap. I'll send it to you afterwards. Awesome. Sorry about that. No, go ahead. You're you're I'll, good. I'll blame you later. You're tired. Being go. Able to watch anime with me. All right. I will get on tomorrow. See and do also, Dodge, if you want to send your notes to him, please do that. Yep. See you, dude. You, boy. Okay. Sorry. Uh, continue. I forgot who it was. That was actually continues. Uh. I think we were still deciding who's going to yeah, sure. talk to her. Gotcha. I mean, it's 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 still Arden Jeff, regardless. <laughs> oh, I suppose you leave me no choice. Okay, Arden, it's up to you, my friend. I. Hmm. I'm thinking how to approach this. She already doesn't like Severus. If you don't, um, try not just talking about appearance. Girls don't tend to like that very much. That's my advice. <laughs> uh, so, out of character, um, maybe you can use the fact that uh, Gerald is with us. Maybe that will help. <laughs> Jub out of the parent. That sounds in character. <laughs> no, no, no. Jub, Jub would not say this. Oh, okay. But I'm just saying, the, like, the keep parrot. in mind that uh, Jub does have a parrot. Is like, she like pirate pirate, or is she like? <laughs> you assume she, you assume she's a pirate. She's wearing she's wearing all the signs of a pirate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pirate or sailor? Pirate. Pirate. Your guess is pirate. Okay. Okay. Pardon? Maybe. Ready? Well, okay. She just, she, I assume she's just like sitting there by herself enjoying her. She's sitting there, feet up on the drink. table, and she appears to be drinking some beer, rum, possibly. Pirates typically enjoy rum. That's your guess. Okay. Uh, I assume we're not being very, uh, very sneaky here, so she's likely taking notice of us sitting at this table and talking with Severus, who has already pissed her off. Yes, correct. Great making my job that much easier <laughs> um is it me why is it like okay. arden how are you approaching them floor is yours boone you get all the ladies after all you should know this <sighs> Oh, one other thing also isn't this his character like a pirate or something like that or is uh related 
Oh, okay. that's right. Viss wanted to come here so bad, and now he's gonna miss it. <laughs> this is not should, a pirate. Should we, should we wrap up this entire set, like place in one session? Oh one my time? god, that'd be so toxic. <laughs> Finish he's not the a pirate. Cave he's like and a the house. He's like a water the entire source. He was. He's line. yeah. He was lost oh, at okay. sea at one point. He got like lost at sea and he washed up. Wow, that's lame. It, whoa, <laughs> Christ! What's your backstory? Yeah, Jesus Christ, dude. Flex. <laughs> okay. No, I'm just missing. Cause... Pardon. Never mind. I mean, I suppose. All right, I'll just I'll just walk up to her. Oh, ah, yes, the the elf. That's a good choice. Elves are quite good. They're also very soft and. You clearly have not met Arden. Isn't he a half elf? Yeah, it's also kind of racist. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> he, is a, he is he is an elf. He is a half elf, which I'm not sure I told you guys, but that's fine. You can probably notice he doesn't like hide it super well or hmm. anything. But I'm not sure he's been wearing a hat the entire time. Okay. Yeah, I'll just walk up to her. Okay. Walk up to her and she goes, the hell you want. Well, I suppose I'll just cut the shit. Um we would like to hire you and your ship. We hear that you um have a ship and we would like to hire you. Well I am available to hire for uh, a price and I noticed you were talking to that. It's the way to. Disgusting fellow? Asshole. Yeah, him. Yes, him. I assume you're with him and he wishes to also hire me along with. together. Well, he's kind of hiring us and then we need to hire you. So, yes. I see. He's not specifically part of our group, but for now, he will be. Well, where are you going? Uh, Cove, the... What was Moonlight, that? Cove. Moonlight Cove. Moonlight Cove. Moonlight Cove. <laughs> oh, God. Moonlight Cove. Moonlight Cove, that is a dangerous part of the sea. However, I'll take you there. Price goes up, though. Hazardous location. Are we far enough away in the bar that we can't hear this conversation? Uh, you might be able to overhear it. There's <laughs> some kind of role with I Ryan do that. Stra. I, I, I just want to overhear it. Uh... I don't. <laughs> you hear Gerald cawing after you made your bird sounds. <laughs> and Gerald starts to That's make fun. sounds as well. <gasps> yes, I, I keep going. <laughs> and the uh, woman says, All right. Got a name? Yes, my apologies. I am Arden. And you? Call me... But a, a crew Queen calls. Latifah. Captain Barkskin. Captain Barkskin. The name is a nickname based on the fact they have uh, come across a certain spell that I mastered. Stuck. Interesting. I don't see a lot of sailors who are practic practitioners of magic. I can't say that I am, but uh, get marooned and look around and you find a scroll. Not much else to do other than try things. Yeah, I suppose. And so, to survive. Price, boat to uh, going to moon like destination. Not exactly sure what you're doing there, but the way I see it, my business is to hire me. Uh, you gotta pay for the crew, as well as myself, my services. 
I, I, I'd probably say for each head, it's about five gold. And for myself, it'll be ten. So, ten. Sixty gold total. Plus, uh, you'll help me pay for damages. They... I ain't paying, so I don't give a damn. Sounds good to me. <laughs> 60 gold, uh, we're gonna pay that up front, though. Don't worry, I'm good for it. But, gold is so the, it's for the, so I can just, incentive to work. Uh, yeah. Sure All right. thing. Got a deal. And she reaches her hand out. Yep, I'll shake it. <laughs> well, just let me know when you're ready to set sail. And we'll... And, uh, make sure that the, uh, slimy fella pays me. Yep, I'll, uh, I'll head back to the group. Okay. I'll let them know. I'll say to Severus, 60 gold. 60 gold? Did you negotiate? You didn't ask me to negotiate. You asked me to hire a ship, and that was her price. I thought you'd negotiate. <laughs> 60 gold. Oh. Hey, some neg next negotiate? time, next time, the her. elf doesn't do it. Pick somebody else. Doesn't even negotiate. I, know how I mean, to be fair, he did what you asked, and since he's not paying... He did. Money. He did. That's true, he did. Uh, I just well, figured he negotiated. He's, he's a pretty frugal fellow. Fine, 60, 60. Pulls out, he, oh. he fiddles through a little a, a, a bag, and he reaches into it. Pulls out a smaller ba a small bag out of that bag. He says, uh, this should be sick. And he walks over to the uh, pirate lady. Throws the bag on the table. It says, there. All paid for. All right. So, way I see it. Now, here's what I think. I think we should set sail later. I'm thinking the evening. Or the night before nightfall. I know what you're thinking. It's probably dangerous. But, what I know is true. The uh, creatures that we might come across may be asleep at the time that we are. Catch them by surprise. Some of you look sneaky, particularly the smaller one. Hmm. That should work to our advantage. I definitely pout at the small comment, but like also accept it. Hey, 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 he's not talking about you, he's talking about me and this. I mean, I'm pretty <laughs> small too. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, any of you are very small. Except for the fella that won't take off his armor. Don't you get hot in that? The helmet stays on. I kind of, I kind of like, I kind of like, re I, I can't reach that high, can I? I was gonna say I kind of like knock on his helmet, but like I don't think I can do that because I'm too short. Yeah, I wasn't saying you. The, <laughs> the best part of that fucking joke is no one else gets it, dude. I get it. <laughs> No, no, it's it. it, it's, no, it's a it's it. a very specific reference. <laughs> what is that from? The helmet stays on. I know Destiny. I've heard that phrase before. It's, it's from Destiny. Oh, we're talking okay. with a pirate hooker. It's gonna stay on. Well, I actually have it. I I feel like I've heard that phrase somewhere else before. <laughs> oh. Anyway, leave at nightfall. Catch him by surprise. And. That'll be the strategy. I think that's at least what I think. What do you all think? Sounds, sounds like a fine strategy to me. I think you know more about what's going on around here than we do. That's true, I do. So let me enlighten you. The cove. My understanding is we'll encounter sea creatures, parts, things like that. We can deal with it. But I've heard we'll also have to deal with some merfolk. You know, Fish people. Yeah, merfolk. Yeah, fish people. I don't know. But there's one other thing I've heard. They're being led by something. Not another merfolk. Something else. I'm not quite sure what, though. Townspeople are a little bit uh, skittish on 
They don't like to go near the cove. There's also one other thing you should know. There's uh, two caverns that we're going to One of which we're going to go ahead and avoid. Uh, reason why we're avoiding it, possible, is because, to be honest with you, it's an unnecessary risk. So we'll avoid it. Uh, rumor around the town is that cavern in the that apparently a necromancer. We're gonna go ahead, and stay away. The other cavern, though. Excuse me. Let me finish, Miss. Yeah. Okay, sure. can't, can't teach manners. Now, what was I saying? Cavern. The other one. The other cavern. The other, don't let me finish, Miss. <laughs> <laughs> the other cavern. That's where we're we're find the uh, star. Find it in there. Take out whatever's some fish people, possibly more. Get it out quietly, then we can sleep. Rest of the so. That's what we're we're heading into. There might be some other creatures in that area. May encounter them, but shouldn't have a. I don't think we'll have a problem dealing. Are there any uh any other things you? I take my leave, and uh, I was figuring I was going to go to the fish. Fishing. I mean, it sounds like a pretty sound plan to me. Anyone else? I I mean. I assume you know which cavern is the dangerous one and which is the not dangerous one. Uh, yes, I do. Okay, good. Yes, I do. Because, you know, I don't really like the idea of a 50-50 shot of either dead or not dead. That is that is true. No, no, no. I don't, I don't think we'd die if we went to that cavern. I just... I don't think we need... Just, we don't need to go... My thought. All right. Is there any other things you up now? I'm, as I'm, I'm gonna go fishing. I, I assume Captain Parkskin knows the uh, that we're leaving at night. You tell her. Why don't you go ahead and tell her? I can lie. I kind of thought that conversation was directed at her instead of us at the start. What? Why would I talk to her? She doesn't like me. Well, I, I understand because, like, in the context, like, you went off and dropped the gold in front of her, and then just... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, he so came back. Like, no, he just came back to you. I was like, huh? Wait. He just came back to you. Guys. No, I don't... Okay. I don't think it's best I talk to her. Uh, oh. Doesn't have an eye for me. I'll go over... I'll go over to her again. Do uh, women usually have an eye for you? Uh, actually, yes, they do. Is he lying? <laughs> you could insight. <laughs> I will. He, he's lying. 20. He's lying. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, you go to the captain already. I just like squint very aggressively. And you let her know that you're leaving nightfall. I say, uh, yes, captain. It appears that we uh, wish to leave at nightfall as opposed to now. Okay. But, uh, reasonable. It's reasonable. I won't say it's the best plan of action, but. Well, you're more of an expert, I think, than any of us, or likely him, despite what he may say. Why is that not a good plan? It's a little bit easier to see where we're going to. And that, oh, there are plenty of rocks we could have. Yeah, that makes sense, though. What do you know about the creatures that may live around there? Are they... Would they possibly be asleep at night so we might have an easier time? Uh, I really don't know. Don't go near. Okay. Last, the last pirate that tried to didn't come back. There Apparently there's a treasure of it's highly sought after. But we found that the risk is. I see. But if he wants to go at night, power to him. 
should he fall overboard, bet I won't be something over. All right. I will, um, I will go back and confer one more time and make sure that we're sure. Okay. Go back and sounding your doubts. Is that what I mean? Yeah, I just okay. tell them what she said, that she has a uh, hesitancy about s sailing in there at night due to the, uh, probably, yeah. She said, rocks. She, said she said that? Said, she said that, and she also did say as part of the payment that we would pay for damages to the ship, so you might want to... Oh, that, that is true, that is true. Did you negotiate? We went over this already. Oh my god. I think You're a terrible idea. negotiator. No, I'm actually an excellent negotiator. You just didn't ask me to negotiate until after it was I done. figured it would be obvious you should. <laughs> it's I not mean, my I, money. I, I'm going to be honest, Severus. I don't think the guys like you very much either. Yes. All right. Well, <laughs> I'll pay for any damage that might befall her. As far as going at night, it is the best plan. That is the best plan. I, I hate to say it, but I think I'm smarter. Mm, I don't even have to insight check. I know he thinks he's smarter. And I'm sure he thinks. I, I am 100% think he's telling the truth on that one. <laughs> I am much smarter, and I'm seasoned. I'm seasoned. I've been around. Okay? I know what I'm talking about. We go at night, we sneak in, take care of business. And you know what she's not accounting for? We have small people. Yeah, they won't see them coming. Those, those We're like right people. here. Like, that's very assumptuous. I know you're right here. I can see you. I don't know. He's pretty loud. And I point out, like, Elner. I'm just I'm gonna just, take a big offense to that. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna say Viss's character is very angrily staring at Severus right okay. now. <laughs> he says, "Is that one okay? Is that one okay?" He looks hungry. How much you get him? I think it's actually angry, but I mean, usually it's pretty one and the same. Yeah, it is. I agree. For most people, yeah. I agree. See, this she she and I think the same. We have I, got a good head not, on your shoulder. Let's not go too far. Got a good head on your shoulder. Like that. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go fishing. And, um, <clears throat> we'll prepare, do what you have to do. Uh, we'll meet back here around a little bit before sun starts going. Bring, uh, we'll bring Captain Candy Pant and head on out onto her. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call her that. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a good idea either. I don't... Why not? Is that an how insult? Deep a, how deep of a hole do you like to dig, Severus? Is that an insult? <laughs> This is opening my eyes. I'm, I better go fishing. And I think I think it's better that you just don't talk to her. Okay. I think that's. I think you open your eyes, but not your mouth, and it might be a better strategy. Okay. I I'll try not to. Try not mm -hmm. to. Probably right. I I give him, I give him two thumbs up. Your wisdom is sound. Wisdom is sound. And he places his thumbs against your thumb. I don't I don't get that very often. Nice. I, no, no. I like, I like that. I like pull. I kind of like pull my hands back right away. I like, <laughs> like, I like that. Okay, I'm gonna I go. Like that, I'm gonna go fishing. Yeah, probably best you. I'm go gonna go fishing. fishing. Yeah. You all get supplied. Figure, figure, figure out all your stuff. And uh, keep okay, bye. keep okay, bye. Okay, and he he heads out the door. Yeah, he gets no pussy. How did that fucking idiot negotiate with a dragon again? Can somebody run that story past me one more yeah. time? I feel like he might not have said the dragon had giant knockers. <laughs> True, I, you didn't. know, I was there. I True. didn't hear him say that. I did not hear him say that during that. Huh. So let me bring up the town map again. Just there is one general store. There is a specialized store. The general store will only have general store goods. You might find health potions there, uh, but in limited supply. You are not going to find any magical goods. Is there a like post office? Post oh, oh, um, send, send something. Here, you there might be a traveler on occasion that will take up any, but not nothing dedicated. To Currently, don't know, find anybody. You could ask around, and I'm sure you're thinking of asking around. So, I'm speed that yeah. townsfolk that you ask say, 
uh, about once a week, he gets somebody that comes through, we hand them anything that we need sent along, and then they just ride out. Uh, that person came about two days ago. Dismissed him. Okay. What you sending? I was not doing that anywhere near the group. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what? Arden went well. off on Arden went off on his own. Fine. Around. Imagine thinking Arden would do anything. One of these there. times, I'm gonna tag along just see what he does. You could sneak behind him. Those are fine. Yeah, you could try to sneak behind me. You could do that. Eventually. Unfortunately, I still trust him. Well, okay. Erica still trusts him. Um, so, at this point, this is just like you guys can do time. Uh, at some point, um, I'll reconvene us. But each person will have an opportunity to do something. That's going to take Um, I realize that like there's a huge chunk of time to spend doing this. But like, I I'm assuming that you're going to probably do it. But I'll tell you when time's up. So... Let's start Elner, since as I look at the screen, Elner's the first name I see. Ah, right, get out of here. Hi. Um, Elner, you have okay. plenty of time to kill, and you can join people doing things, but if you were to pick something to do first, where would you go? Uh, is nowhere an answer? Nowhere is an answer. You could yeah, rest. You could rest. I, I will I will rest. Jub. If you had a place you wanted to go, where would you go? Or rest? Jub's gonna go check out the general store. Okay. Anybody else gonna go with him? Yeah. Okay. I have two Serox going with him. Who else? Anybody? I'm okay. gonna explore around town. Okay. So let's let's do store first. And Erica will get Arden. What do you want to do, Arden? Yeah, if I don't, uh, if I don't find anywhere where I, which it doesn't sound like I did, where I could send a, a, a package, then, uh, I think I'd go to the saloon. Okay, we'll do that last, then. That's okay. Jump in Serox first to the general goods. What are you guys doing? Besides buying right. things. I'll let yeah. Jump go first since he wanted yeah. to go first. I'm just gonna, like, look around and see if there's anything that, uh, like, I mean, I'm glancing at the catalog, but I'm wondering if there's, like, Anything that catches my eye that would be useful for a nighttime slash boat adventure. Already have things like rope. Important. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You're probably not going to need many like boat goods because you're somebody else is going to be that. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of what might be. You could fish. There are fishing supplies. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I'll get some fishing supplies. Purchase fishing supplies. We're going to say that's one. Oh. Like a, a simple fishing rod, some bait, tackle bug. All yeah, that's in the that's tackle bug. Okay. Yeah. So you buy some fishing goods, and I'm trying to think of other things that would be at a general store I'd find helpful. Um, oh, maybe like. um. Like a lantern or something? A lantern like, would be helpful, it? but you should already have that. But if you don't, I'll just let you get that with the... Okay. I don't know if I do. Let me look. If I don't, I'll buy one. It's probably in whatever pack you have. Yeah, it's probably in one pack. So can... Oh, it says <laughs> I've got a torch. A torch would be fine, too. Yeah. Close enough. Yeah. Um, you're... Are you keeping track of your arrows at all? I am, yeah. Okay. Then, as long as you're filled up on arrows, you, that would be helpful. As well. yeah, um, I'm good for now. I'm this good. is for everybody. Keep in mind, we're at sea. If a shark attacks you, whatever reason, fighting in the water, it's not going to act. Not going to be fighting in water. Bad idea. It's bad. It's not the best idea. Just keep that in mind. You're on a you're... doing anything in water. Bad idea. Yeah, just keep that in mind for for you. Um, if if we do end up in the water, what kind of like stuff would have to happen like, you you'd have to, to swim, swim. have to if swim so that would be athletics water, you're at, athletics. you need to do athletics if you're wearing heavier armor though will sink 
I'm going to go straight to the uh, bottom. <laughs> do you have to breathe? I don't have to breathe, I'm pretty sure, so I might be okay. <laughs> you just yeah, walk out. Sure. I'll just walk out of the water. <laughs> um, you will have to swim, which is athletics. You're going to swim. Uh, you can hold your breath. I don't recall how, how long the breath hold is. Um, there is like a turn number. It's minutes. It's I think it's like one plus your constitution. Okay, one plus your con. Yeah. Minutes. Mi that, that's minutes. So in combat, it would be you no. Know, it would last a yeah. full combat. Mine is one minute. However, if you attack underwater while Dang. trying to you hold air. your breath, I'm gonna tell, say you lose air. You lose Timer air. will go. Hmm. Actually, this sounds just you, terrible. You reminded me. Um, I actually did want to pick up a, an extra set of daggers. Okay. Maybe we'll find that at a yes. reasonable price. Yes. Uh, whatever the price is on the catalog for daggers, yeah, mark it off. just to mark it off, and you'll you'll get that price. Just normal price, cool. I want at least four, just in case I start losing some of these bad boys, because uh, Jump eventually with... I will lose them. Is there anything else you wanted to get besides like buys for how to see? Just like. You, people should have ranged stuff like javelins. You should probably just have javelins if you normally have a range. You should buy javelins. Yeah, at this party. <laughs> so, um, because I know some of you, uh, Serox, I'm actually, I say is, don't have a javelin. In yes or no? I don't. You, okay, you could buy some. You well, never know yeah, if I, you get attacked. I mean and Otto, you need why to throw do you think I more. wanted to go to the store? You should buy some. Wink, wink. You Just guys should you. buy some I'm sea stuff. I'm one step wink, ahead of you, Otto. Wink. I'm here to buy a javelin. Nah, you're two I'm, steps behind. I'm so behind glad me. that Otto is teaching uh, Serox. Serox. What do you want to buy at the special store? God is talking is it, to Serox. Is it a javelin? I want to buy two javelins. Hey, you buy two javelins. I'd also like to buy 50 feet of rope. Okay. I don't know what the price is on the catalog. Go I'd like to cut the rope in half and tie 25 feet to either javelin. Okay, I see what you're doing. Got it. Harpoons. Exactly. That's actually big brain. Look at you. It's a good thing I told him that. It's crazy that God came to him in a dream and told him, you should buy javelins. <laughs> said, get javelins. Dude, javelins are sick. Have you tried um, them? Okay, Jub and Serox, I assume you're... Okay, yep. Eric, you go. Erica's, you know, skipping along town, humming a lovely tune. My new shiny daggers. Um, outside of shopping, uh, I just want to see if I can find anything interesting. Just anything that catches my eye in general, like okay. nothing. Yeah, sure. The with within the main square of town, um, other than the stores, the saloon, there appears to be some activity in the saloon. Um. There's a large building that that's the manor that Severus described. And beyond that, there's some houses for rent. Uh, you see in the distance towards the southwest, a larger building that might be the equivalent of like a community center. Um, it, which, which appears dark and not... We're in Stardew Valley, boys. Um, and to the northwest, there a small, uh, a smaller house with a a um a dock. And you see in the distance as you look, uh, there's a single man on the dock. There's a man fishing. Does that man happen to look a little bit like Severus Bane? You could guess it's Severus Bane. I'm gonna go the opposite direction. Okay. <laughs> He's kind of smelly, and actually, I think I need to wash my hands because he like put his thumbs on mine. So I'm like, kind of like, spritz them off in like the water real quick, and then yeah, but the seawater's probably cleaner, honestly. You you um, okay? You go to the seawater? Uh, you know, actually, maybe not to the tides of the dam. It's probably not a good idea. Okay. Maybe just kind of like spit on him a little bit and call it a day. Okay. Um, and just kind of like you know get general supplies like rations and stuff for Lucy. I okay. Them, so. Got it. Arden, you're going to the saloon. I'm not gonna shoot gold up. Yeah, I just I'm 
I want to do my usual uh, mischief. I figured I'd find some drunk people at the saloon that I can scam. There's a handful of drunk people at the saloon. Uh, some appear to be playing cards. Yeah, I've got a. I'll sit down and play cards. I've got a. I've got a deck of marked cards, so I'll try and scam. <laughs> You're gonna introduce your own cards to the table. Good luck. The, um, you, you sit down at a table with two with three other people, and they um they take notice of you and go buying in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am. Put your gold down then. <clears throat> How much does it look like it would cost you to buy in? You could buy in with one gold now, and that would be like start. And then if you if you wanted to be comfortably with the rest of them, uh, about seven gold. Are they yeah. wearing masks at the table? Because this guy sounds like he might have COVID nineteen. I'll throw down. I'll throw down the seven. Okay. So you right, and they deal the cards. For now, we're gonna say it's poker. It's just um. Just poker. Uh, we'll play. Um, what? Two. Um, Texas Hold'em. Thank you. Texas Hold'em. Thank you. Um, it's. We'll assume it's Texas Hold'em. Um, poker. Got it. So, they. They deal the cards. One of them deals the cards. And, uh, it appears that the one of them to the left of the dealer has thrown one gold. And,. Get your two cards. Let's see what you... Um, basically could get ace through king. So one through... One through 13. 13. So let's roll it. Ace being one, assuming? Yeah. And let's roll two of those. Do they have suits? Uh, I will give them suits in a second. Cool, cool. I'm interested in this. This sounds fun now. Okay, you get a nine and a queen. And the suits... Oh. That's not bad, actually. We'll say, uh, I, I should have said the order ahead of time, so we're going to do hearts, diamonds, clubs. Oh, you could play with actual cards in D&D, right? Uh, no, I'm not doing that. Um, okay. I was just saying you know you could. I, I know I can, but I'm not doing that. That rolling less dice, and that's not as fun. Um, okay. You get a nine of hearts and a queen of hearts. Okay. Not a great, not a great hand, but it's okay. And... So the the guy to the left pull, put a gold down, and now it's your turn. And they're all looking at you. Yeah, I'll call. Okay. You throw a gold, and the last guy ends up full. Uh, the dealer also puts in a gold. And he then turns the... turns the uh, Burns the one card, and this would be the... Uh, flop? Flop. So, flop. Turn river. Uh, in. Spoon sits here and plays this for two hours. Okay, one, five, seven. We'll only do like one, like one hand of it like this, and the other one simulate. But different. And, you know, one of hearts, a, a five of. Oh, sorry, ace of hearts. Excuse me. Ace of hearts, you're right. A five of clubs and a seven of clubs. And then I'm going to GM roll the other. Uh, whose, bed, whose bed is it? Is it It'll a... be the guy to the left. Of the... I'm GM. Okay. So the guy to the left... Um, uh, he puts. Just want to make sure I didn't get. Puts two. No. So the first guy to the left. Cards. So. So then. I which is. So how's your guys' days going? Yeah. Okay. So, guy puts in two gold. Call. Yeah, fuck it. 
Okay, you call? Actually, I'm gonna raise. Okay, you raise? Yeah, four. 17 gold. Raise to four. Uh, the dealer calls the four. The guy left also calls. So, currently the pot is five plus Arden put in five. The other guy has five. Okay, next one's uh, going. A turn. In. Nine. Okay, there's only um, this one is a nine of clubs. Okay, Moon actually has something. I have a pair, but three okay. clubs is spook. Yeah, three clubs is spook. Ace, mm. ace is spook as well. Flushes are low part. The ace is the scarier part. Uh, guy to the left. He um, he checks. I'll bet another two. So you've bet a total of seven, then. That would be all. I was telling you. I mean, yeah, I have more money, so I could put more in. Okay, so you put your seven in. Now you're at seven. The We're going to assume the other two have, um, have seven right now. So the other one, the one to your right, calls your seven. And the third one folds. The guy that was the left of the deal ends up full. So now it's you and the guy to your left and right of deal. Um, both have your in. The last one here. Okay, ten of uh, I think that's spades. spades. So ten of spades gets. Uh, it is your call to start here, Spook. Yeah, that's me. Wait, is the other guy all in? The other guy is all in, so... Actually, yeah, the other guy is all in, technically. He, he doesn't yeah, appear to have yeah. any more money. He just shows. He just shows. Yeah, okay. All in, you just show. The guy to your left shows a... Nine of spades and a nine of diamonds. Oh! Ooh. Wow. The, Yikers. The, the trip Frick. nines. And you show a... Um, nine, nine, queen. nine and queen. Unfortunately, trips is going to win out there. Yeah. Wait a minute. Were any of those nines also the same nine? Could they be cheating? They were not cheating. I'm kidding. We're not cheating. Uh... So the pot Spoon goes to this cheated. guy. So that oh, pot was... Uh, that pot was... Uh, 19? But he gets 19 gold. Alright, we're not going to play a full game again. We're just going to simulate at this point. So, um... Let's assume you play another four games. So just roll 4d20 and see how you do. Um, if I you want to cheat, and, if you want to yeah, cheat, wanna, you have I to roll Deception. To yeah, I want to try to either use some deception or some sleight of hand to like finagle, finagle. For each so. game, you can either do deception. Or... Uh, well, deception I'm better at, so. But if you fail, they'll catch you, and something will. The DC for this, because they are drunk is going to be 10 with advantage. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Try and cheat, and you get an 18. You successfully cheat and win the hand. I will decide how much you win. I'm just going to roll the 6. You end up winning 4 additional gold on top of uh, bets. Go ahead, roll again. Want to do deception again? Uh, oh okay, you end up winning six gold. 
which would be the maximum of the D6. That one, that's plus 10 now for you from after the end. Keep going if you want. Yeah, let's let it ride. See it again. Additional six gold, and then one more if you want. Agreed. Yeah, they agreed. Okay. Fifth Arden. Spoon's like, goddamn, one of Four more. I gotta roll well. So it's, you, know, you came out well, although you lost seven on the initial hand, you end up, ended up recovering what looks like plus My favorite League outside of, of that. Threat. You make them think you're bad, and then you're not actually bad. So you went plus 13 total. Um, so that's, and then you're, that's it. That's all I'm going to give you. Yep. You, you leave the table plus 13. The, uh, other people at the table appear to be unhappy that you are the winner of, of all the hands and saloon a wealthier. So that was everybody's opportunity. And Arden, you find that it's gotten later today and it's time to meet up with Severus. Everybody meeting up with Severus at the end, yes? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Sounds good. You're back at the inn, and as you arrive, Severus appears to already be there, back at the same table. They conversed with him, and he appears to have, like, a, a bucket of some kind it's it's fairly large, um, and as you get closer, there, there appears to be a fish in the bucket. And you're you're just you're at the table with him. Oh, you're back. Good. Good. Well, I assume you're all prepared for what's next. Yeah, for the most part. I nod my head. Rest of you. Mm -hmm. Let's that's go. Cool. Okay, that's good. One moment, I just have to off at the bar at the barkeep. Excuse me, sir. I have this fish. Uh, when I get back, mind cooking it for me. Oh, I look like your chef. And uh, he throws a gold to the barkeep. And he takes it. Oh, all right. Uh, and Severus comes back and goes, Okay, now that that business is concluded, why don't you all collect um, the, uh, the pirate lady and I will meet you outside. Collect the pirate. Okay, is she still here? Mm-hmm. She's sitting there. What was her name again? Captain Barkskin. Okay. Sorry, my, my genius memory is failing me. True. <laughs> um, okay, you guys grab the captain, I assume. And, of yep. course, she says, Oh, ready? Distribute it to my crew. And we are ready to set sail. Follow me. And she leads you out into the port, and just off the uh, the coast, you see a large vessel that appears to be a pirate ship. And Severus joins you, and he says, "Ah, here we go. Can't wait. Be a pirate. This is the life." And he says, "I would not have that one on my crew. What he can do, but." We are off. I'm kind of, I, I'm kind of just nodding. And when she yeah, says that. Nodding. <laughs> We're off. And there's a small boat at the uh, coast. He says, hop in. We'll paddle our way over. I get in the very okay. middle of the boat. Okay. Yeah. And you just like, you, you feel the Serox, the weight as the boat. And uh, the captain says, wow. Uh, okay. You're heavy. That is, uh... That's a little rude. Thank you for going in the middle of the boat. And not on the ends. 
I, I appreciate say nothing it. and just hold on very tightly. Okay. <laughs> just okay. Looks like we've got someone. I blame you. You're wearing a full suit of armor. And she's, she starts paddling the boat along uh, with her. And eventually, after you no know, short distance, you get to the boat, and there's a rope ladder that descends, and the captain climbs it first. He says, come on, hurry up. Yeah, better set sail with what light we have left, thanks to our genius leader. Genius, well, thank you. I am quite, quite intelligent. And I go past everybody to be second up the ladder. Everybody okay, Xerox immediately rushes to the ladder and, and climbs up. <coughs> and uh, everybody else climbs up. Uh, Severus climbs up last. And you're all in the boat. And after some preparation from the captain and her crew, you are setting sail to Moonlight Cove. I have a map for this. Yes. Moonlight does Cove. Cap, does the captain have a map? Does the captain have a map? Water. Lots of water. So Wait, Otto, did you start drawing a boat and then replace it with a token? I <laughs> may have done that and replaced it with the pirate ship. I may have done that. I, have done that. I had the boat. No, 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 no. Make it small again. It was great. I, I may have done that. I may have done that. I put a boat on a boat here. I was really proud of my initial boat, though, but I decided to... Who did that, who did that fish? <laughs> that fish out of here. Um, so, here's the deal. You can say, uh, outside of these lines that I drew around High Rock and the other rock forming left of the screen, you can sail pretty much wherever. Um, you may elicit some kind of account encounter when you go near a certain point. I just assumed... Severus would have the route. Severus says, well, we can pick one of two directions. Uh, Captain, if you don't mind, I will make the choice. She says, oh, God, please don't, but you are, in fact, the, uh, in fact, hired me, so. Says, well, hey, I see it. Go left. You actually get a little close to the Cavern of Law. Probably not the best idea. But let's go right towards Shark Bait Magoo. We can use you as shark bait. Uh, me, I don't. I don't taste very good. I don't taste very good. Wait, Believe where me, is I our don't. End goal. Hmm. Where is our end goal? Where are we going? You're going over here. Oh, okay. Is what? But 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 the uh, I noticed that there was a uh, a shipwreck over there. There might be treasure. And I'll admit, I like treasure. A lot. How would, what, how would we what? get it? I say as I'm clinging to the mast. We would probably have to jump into the water, which for no. you is is probably not going to happen. But for me, what were you? Go ahead. What were you saying before about unnecessary risks? I, I would agree. Treasure is a necessary risk. On the way back, treasure is a back. necessary risk. If if treasure can be had, you take the risk. There is no treasure in the cavern of law. So we don't risk it. But when there is treasure, risk it. Does that make sense? I, I agree with Severus. That being said, I'm See, not going in the water. That one that one agrees with me. Yeah. I didn't yeah, catch I, it. I didn't catch that one's name either. But he's pretty smart. I can tell. I, mean, if you, I I hold up a hand and say if you toss me a rope, I can go down. <laughs> Wait, who's gonna pull you back up? <laughs> I'm not, a, no. I'm not pulling him up. <laughs> All right. All right, I love treasure as much as anyone else. Believe me. I, yep. However, no, maybe. <laughs> however, I hate water way more than I like treasure. What's wrong you know, with water? We had, the ship if we wreck. had this here, he'd be able to go get the treasure for us. What? What is your? What is your deal with water? Why are you afraid of water? It's I not gonna. Really it's not gonna attack cold. you. So, so you can't swim? Hell no. Just because you're short doesn't mean you can't swim. Okay, that's honestly that's a little self racist. If you think that's about a little it, little sus to be honest. <laughs> self racist. That's a self racist right there. You're you're just a self hater. I think. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, we're not going to the shipwreck. No. <sighs> All right. Fine. I'll do it. I'm, um. Well, my point. Let's return back to what I was saying. 
Shark Bait Lagoon. Risk the sharks. Honestly, I think the sharks are safer than the other way, which is the cavern. And unfortunately, that means we missed the shipwreck, which, you know, I'm, I am disappointed. I think I'll get over it. And then once we pass Shark Bait Lagoon, we will uh, head towards head towards the other cavern, which I certainly hope nothing bad happens on the way. <clears throat> Slow us down. That's awfully like ominous. Yeah. Is it? It was. I was. I said. I hope. That was like a wish. It's almost like you're kind of asking for something to happen. That's not a very good idea. No, I said. I hope that yeah. something doesn't happen. Yeah, but like that kind of invokes like bad juju. Kind of thing. Juju? What is that? Is that uh, like some spiritual thing? It's just another word for luck. You should try to take it the thesaurus once. Look, if you're going to speak Elvish to me, Wait, at least someone have, have the courtesy to... They have some in the capital. It's kind of like it just tells you like what words are and like different types of words. Oh, that's a dictionary. Thing. That's a dictionary. Oh no, no, God! No, 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 yeah, no. I thought it's you were. Like, I like, thought you were like, smart. I thought you were smart. No, but, no, but like it's like it's like different words that like mean similar things. You know how like there's like ocean and sea are similar. Doesn't a dictionary do that though? Water. A dictionary does that. They give like examples. Yeah, well, that, words. While, like, they're arg specific. while they're arguing, I might, <laughs> while they're arguing, I might go over to the captain and be like, "Can we get going? This is not going to end anytime soon." Oh, she says, sailing. "Yes. Which way are we going?" To the right. Okay. And she starts. Um, she starts pulling you in the direction of Shark Bait Lagoon. And Severus oh, goes, "Ah, oh, oh, finally, we're moving." God. <sighs> okay. Did, well, did she have this map, or did he have the map of this place? Uh, sh so they both did. They both. Oh, she had a copy of it, and and so did he. That's great. I'm gonna ask the captain as we're kind of sailing when there's like free time. Um, excuse me. Um, is there any chance I could jot down a sketch of that map in my notebook? I like to collect them a bit. Um, I personally. I don't see why not. You're welcome Thank to. You. Uh, I your your other you know, the person that hired me, that guy that I don't like. He also had a map too. Yeah. Have you seen him? Yeah, you made the right choice. Thank you. And I, I kind of like definitely just like while she's like, you know, jot down my copy of the map in my book. All right, I have a pretty good amount of maps in it now. You get halfway to Shark Bait Lagoon. Uh, Jub, go ahead and roll a d20 for a possible encounter. Oh boy, how do I do that? If the pirates theme from Cage Two doesn't play when we get a sea battle, I'm be upset. You miraculously hey. avoid like an encounter. the original one. The original one. You avoid an encounter, and Jub, as you're looking ahead, you find a crate um, floating Yo. in the water, and you quickly grab a rope and somehow get it attached to the crate and pull it up. Using my fishing stuff. Yes. <laughs> Would you like to open the crate? Hell yeah. Okay. You open the crate, and there appears to be some... Some goods for you to keep, basic Yay. stuff, and you find a very small pouch of ten gold. Hell yeah. Let's go. Nice find. That's impressive. We left ten gold in a chest in the middle of the ocean. It's a crate? Yeah, it was a crate. They left it on purpose. Who boxed up ten gold in a crate? They might have swam over here from the shipwreck. Oh, true. And um, at this point, we will have it continue. The uh, ship sailing? You arrive near the lagoon. You're not in it exactly, but you're near it. Now, at this point, we're going to have to navigate these waters. Now, the captain should be doing that, but I'm going to have you guys do it instead because that's more fun. Roll for quality of captain. So, who would like to roll to me, me. to steer this boat? Now, me. I don't know exactly what the roll would be, but I'm going to take a look. So, there's definitely a nautical, like, I'm sure there's something to, like, proficiency with, um, uh, navigate, navigation. Navigate, navigate so, tools or yeah, there's, there's like, navigator. So, because there's oh, no navigator tools, fucking... you're gonna have to use survival. Okay, wait, I'm actually proficient in that, I think. Yeah. So, whoever wants to do it, you roll it, and your survival will guide us, uh, for, for now, the captain's... Okay. You end up guiding the group out of these dangerous waters of Shark Bait Lagoon. Um, feel confident that you've done so. 
So you move a little bit further away from the lagoon. I need somebody else now to roll survival. Hey, uh, hey, uh, Job, what's your uh, survival? Oh, I was going to give someone else a chance because I got the moon. Yeah, I can do oh. it. Easy. Watch this. <laughs> All right. I mean, it was easy. I don't know. You end you up getting past the lagoon with no issue. You continue to sail. Uh, and you get right here. I need somebody else now to roll a survival because there's one more thing you have to. Yeah, it's just like driving a horse. Who else will roll? Try, try, fucking roll. Let's go. There we go. Ten. Okay. Who knows when my roll's coming, dude? I tell you. Well, we Who didn't knows? wreck the ship for a ten, probably. Okay, I need to set up. Now I need to set up the map. Oh no. The ship explodes immediately. <laughs> if that happens, I won't see you guys for quite a while. You hear a splash behind you. It's rather loud. Second? Okay. Here we go. There's the map for you. Now, here's how this is going to work. You have ranged weapons as an option. The ship also has cannons. However, it would make more sense if the cannons of the ship were not used on just sharks in the water. For example. So you cannot use the cannons to attack like sharks. However, if you wish to attack another object, such as a rock face, or if you wish to attack like the ruins of the ship on the side, you're welcome to. Or a really big shark. Yes. For the sake or of this. really big shark. For the sake of this map, and for you guys, um, if you wish to make a ranged attack. Now, I know some ranged weapons are like, you can shoot 60 to 120, something like that. Um, for now, I will say that ranged weapons have a, have a maximum range of, let's say, 60 feet. All of them. Including, uh, except for daggers. Daggers are 30. So even bows, bows, no matter what, 60 is your max. If you wish to shoot past that, you're shooting. Rip. Um, daggers are 30. Har, har, your makeshift harpoon is going to be 40. Okay. And... Well, wait. Yeah, the rope was 25. Wasn't it? Yeah, my rope okay. was 25. Okay, sorry. I forgot about that. That rope was... Your, then your 25 feet is your maximum. Okay. Okay. So that's how this is going to work from that angle. Now, I get to put enemies on. Why couldn't I roll the 17? Your boat can be damaged. I will put a health bar for your boat just this so you can see it. Bad. Your health, your boat has 50 hit points. And I will show that. And your boat has an AC of, let's say, 12. All right. You still will... You're not going to roll, like, survival checks for navigation and all that. But you still have to tell me where you're sailing. Moonlight still have to do, yep, you still have to... Well, okay. The top right corner is where Moonlight Cove you're going. But what I mean is, like, for example, you have to say, okay, the boat can move into certain areas. So, like, the boat can move up to 40 feet here, but you can't just move straight into a rock. But you can, you can navigate through, like, certain areas. So, like, you could navigate from here to here. That's okay. And, like, you could also navigate from here. This is, is a shipwreck. Ship this is a shipwreck. Okay. It's not a ship on top of a shipwreck. That is just is it, a shipwreck. Is it the shipwreck or just a It is one? a shipwreck, not the ship. Okay. Okay. Or shipwreck. You are currently in an, an encounter situation. You need to roll an issue. Um, does the boat get an initiative? The boat will also get an issue. It won't last. 
Actually, I'm just gonna have him go last. I don't get anything on initiative, right? What? I don't You're a next character. You should have good initiative. No, I'm saying I don't have any like special stuff or anything. I don't think. Damn it! My intuitive motion was almost useful here. Because it's operate a land vehicle. This is not a land vehicle. Nope. nope. It is a what is a it is a ocean vehicle. Why didn't you drive the carriage last time then? Wait, yeah, hold on. What? <laughs> I didn't know I had this. I forgot. Yeah. Whenever whenever I make a dexterity acrobatics check or an ability check to operate and maintain a land vehicle, you can roll a D4, add the number rolled to the ability check. I'll have to write that into my backstory somehow. So I can actually roll next time. <laughs> Hmm, I think there's some sharks in the water, guys. Those are supposed to be whispered, but I didn't set them to be whispered. I think there's some sneaky little sharks out there. That was supposed to be a whisper. <laughs> what flash, type of flash, fucking, flash. What type of fucking shark would attack a pirate ship? A really hungry one. Yeah. <laughs> you try. You don't know the lore, so you don't. <laughs> True. I, I True. really don't. Try right, I'm just telling you, you don't, you don't know the lore, so... You're you're gonna have to wait and see that lore. These are, these are wood these are wood eating sharks. <laughs> you don't none of you know the lore, so bad. It's too bad you don't know the lore. Oh no, our captain. <laughs> I'm just saying I'm gonna be really fucking surprised when a shark. Oh, I forgot Severus's turn. Why would I, does anyone else see that my name is on the initiative and no one else's? Or is that just a personal thing? I actually don't. I see everyone. I see everyone. I just have my name. I don't see anyone else's name on the initiative. <laughs> you get what my name's on my initiative. Yeah, like, it's just yours though, right? All right, Severus oh, is yeah, now right. on. The... Yeah. All right, so let's put on some. No, I didn't have cage. To... Trash. I'm pulling it up. But I should have done the air horn thing. So I should. Fuck is an air horn thing? I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> oh no! Not, not the air horn. Really? Other problems. You had to ask. Anything, <laughs> anything but that. Air horn. <laughs> Other promise, air horn. Try. This is for you, my friend. I have. I'll put it in the chat for you, but. Just to, you can listen to, to abandon it. for playing that while I was trying to fight Roxas in an any percent run at the marathon. Such a good, it's sure it's such a good song. No, it's not. No, Other promise isn't song. a good song. Wow, spooky. I can't believe you said that. It's an amazing song. The air horn version <laughs> is a fucking it's actually crazy. It's actually crazy how that's like. It actually is so good though, like how they did it. All right, Jub. Before you start, I have to reveal some editors. Oh, sorry, I couldn't hear you over the air horns. I mean, it sounds better than Sora opening his day. In the map. distance on the shipwreck, you see three creatures. They they look, they look. might be merfolk, you think. You think they're merfolk. Do I know what merfolk are? Let's see. I don't know. Nature. They are merfolk. Well, let's, I'll check that out. These are not merfolk, but you're not okay. sure what they are. Gotcha. Yeah, they're kind of far away. It's hard to tell. I will shift Z them, though. Oh, okay. Uh, they look they look friendly. As the combat starts, what? you hear you you see them like put their fingers to their temple. Jub in the distance, barely see that, and that's this will be where. You're... Okay. If you want, you can move the boat as well. I will like tell you. Just tell me where you want to go. You are going to be allowed to move the boat. The boat can move once per actual. So if you if you want to converse with the group and move the boat, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I don't really see a reason to engage them if they're not going to fight us. I mean, you know, I have a gut feeling that we're going to get attacked by them, but like, I don't know. <laughs> we haven't started. I mean, they anything. haven't attacked us. Yeah. Nice. So why don't we just maybe bring the boat a little to the right? Be where? That sound okay? I'm thinking like here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wherever that arrow is pointing. Whoever's okay. That. That's what I'm thinking. You can move right here, basically. Yeah. Okay. So that's your move for the round. If everybody agrees with that, that's okay. Um, and then Jub, 
Currently, the only things you can see are these creatures on the shipwreck, so you don't appear to see anything else in the water. Okay. Well, in that case... Yeah, I'll just uh, pass my turn then. Okay. Uh, let's see. What's this one? Oh, arrow. Okay. Uh, this thing. Is going to jump into the water. And disappear from sight. Erica, around the boat. Boat's moved. You don't appear to see anything, I swear to God. Who's drawing that? Who's drawing that? That. That's what I thought. I mean, you can see the color. <laughs> Shh. Arden, did you... Spoon, did you draw that? Yep, it was me. You know what a good artist I am, especially with a mouse. Got it. Okay, Erica, go ahead. See, Spoon, why are you doing that? Uh, do I see anything in the immediate surroundings? Fuck you. I don't know. Fuck you you, you just you don't see anything right now, but if you want to take a closer look, I'd like to just take an, a view of what's in front of us. Anything that we need to watch out for, like running your ground or anything in the like the path heading like straight up, like straight up the sure gut. Yeah. Take, like, this path, so. Well, straight up the gut there. There doesn't appear to be anything in your way. Just these rocks to the side. Okay, that seems like something that'd be in the way. Um. Well, I mean, you can you can avoid it. You can go through. Do we get to move the boat on our turn, or is it like the, the it's once per boat it's boat once boat per round the community as a whole? Okay, and then I'm just gonna hang out here and um. Uh, can I? Can't you like put yourself at, like the bottom of the turn order? You can defer your turn. Yes. I'm gonna defer my turn. Where would bottom, you? Because, okay. Like just, just all the way at the bottom, basically, because I have nothing to do until something else happens. So okay. I just want to, like, in the future rounds, be at the end of rounds. Okay. So you have okay. to stay there now. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna put your turn value at zero. Okay. Uh. Let's see here. Elner. Mm-hmm. Uh. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'm going to use Thaumaturgy nice. to make a sound of a rumble of thunder. Okay. Hey, with what intention besides the sound? Try to scare them? No, I just want to make a rumble of thunder. Okay, sounds good. Okay, I'm done now. Okay, Arden! <laughs> what? You could have, like, tried to spook them and keep the sharks away. No, it's just my tummy's rumbling. Pardon? I'm yeah, hungry, do, dude. Do we even do we even know that we're under attack right now? Like, I know we saw these creatures on these boat, on that boat, right? But that's yeah. about it, right? Yeah, you, you haven't been attacked yet. I'm chilling. I'm, I'm not doing anything. It doesn't seem like we're being attacked yet, so I'm okay. <laughs> chilling. Serox? Same. And I, assume, I mean, I mean, Still holding out of the man. Do they have someone in, like, I assume they would have someone in the crow's nest that would, like, yell out if... I guess it's also night, though, so maybe we couldn't see very well. Um, yeah, that's true. So it is night. I assume, Jub, you actually had some dark vision. I made that assumption, but oh, I guess yeah, I... I actually, uh, wait, I actually can't see shit, so never mind. Yeah, I'm actually just, like, <laughs> sitting inside of the boat. You, like, do you have dark vision, Jub? I do, yeah. Okay, so that's good. I made the correct assumption. Okay, so, yeah, Jub, you saw all that, but the rest of the party didn't see Unless you have dark vision, you didn't see that that guy jump I, in the water. I do have dark. Vision. Yeah, you saw that. He jumped in the water. Any uh, Serox, right, Anything? I mean, I... okay. But is somebody else doing something? I'm confused now. I thought Arden was done. I mean, okay. If I saw the dude jump in the water, kind of in our general direction, then I will run to the side of the ship where he jumped on, pull out my crossbow, and just look in the water. If I see him, I will shoot at him. Okay, sounds good. 
Now, Serox, it's your turn. I'm holding on to the mast. Okay, okay, yep. Okay. It's Severus's turn. And Severus has a nice suite of actions that I can use, and you can bet he's going to do all sorts of crazy stuff because he is a maniac when it comes to stuff. Okay, he sees the creature jump into the water, and he says, What are you idiots doing? I think they're going to attack us. Where? I can't see anything. And the direction of where the thing jumped in the water, he's going to cast lightning. Wait, that's a water! That's a bad idea! <laughs> ah, yes. Lightning bolt into salt water. What could <laughs> possibly go wrong? He lightning bolts in the general direction <laughs> of the water, and now I'm going to see if it actually does anything. Does it kill us? I'm gonna no, roll. Too much water for day. I'm gonna flip a coin. It, one, it hits something. Eight. On two, it does absolutely. Oh my god, he hit. Nothing. He th the thunderbolt just pierces through the water, and let's roll the lightning bolt. It is eight d six. I feel like he didn't really need to pay that guy to cook the fish. He could have done it with that. <laughs> And all you see, he didn't need us to help him, but here we are. And all you see at this point is just, if for those of you that can see, there appears to be a a different colored liquid, where he fired the lightning bolt. And he look, he's like paying very close attention to that spot. He goes, "Ha! I think I got it." Ha 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 ha! And. This thing. What is this speed? Ah. Oh, what? I didn't see any. I got it. You would have seen the lightning bolt. That's for sure. Oh yeah, I probably just seen the thing get fucking skewered with just the fucking. Can I see now? Is that really? That's gonna be bright as shit, actually. I mean, it's, it's weird. It's, it's instantaneous though. It lasts for like a second or two. It lasts like, for a it's second. Like, it's like when you like you walk in your room and you like you turn on like your your light and like it's like pitch black. So you're just like, oh god, that was bright. You feel a the boat. There's something bumping against the boat. Uh, you can just sense that. Now, this is a big ship, but something is under the water attacking it. For whatever it can do to it. <laughs> now, I rolled it. Okay, I'm actually going to give the ship more health now about it, because this thing should not have 50. There you go. I'm giving it 100. So it's got a hundred hit points. If some sharks could sink our ship, that would be a pretty fucking shitty ship. Yeah, that's what <laughs> pretty shitty. Like, I'm not scared of any sharks. Like, okay, well, <laughs> something attacked it, and it's like something is attacking the boat. And then, okay. Let's see, then this guy goes. And this one's. Okay. So, the other one actually died, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that for the jump. These two are going to jump into the water. Because their turns are next to I thought it was pirates that were jumping in the water. Erica, something is attacking the boat. That's cool. Can I see it? You can try to see it. You'd have to look over the edge of the boat and make a perception check. Uh, I feel like reaching over the side of the boat not my greatest move. So I'm just going to wait for things to climb on board and just like ready an attack for that. Okay. Because, uh, yeah, I'm not reaching over the boat to get pulled in the water. That sounds like a bad idea. Jub, something's attacking the boat from the sides. Um... I assume I don't know what direction, like which side of the boat. You do. Oh, it, on okay. the token, the left side got attacked. All right. Well, I, I'll run over there and uh, see if I can try and hit it with an arrow. Okay. So you're not 100% sure where it is, so it would be disadvantage. You may make a check to see if you can find whatever. Okay. What would that be? You, just do, you can just do perception, yeah. Okay. 
Uh, disadvantage there. <laughs> you think where? So okay, this boat token has three spots. Pick a spot where you'd like to stand. So there's one spot here, one spot here, and the bottom spot, bottom corner. Pick one. Okay. Um, I'll stand in the middle one. Okay. Now you fire downwards. This time yeah. you you're not a hundred percent sure, but you know it's in this region. Just roll a normal attack. Without disadvantage. No disadvantage on this. Okay. The dis the the negative effect is you you may just have. Yeah, I might just not be shooting at it. Yep. <laughs> uh, click this, I think. Okay, and roll damage. Okay, so. Um, so you actually do see, as you attack it, some, you see your arrow sticking out of the water a little bit, and there's some okay. blood here to have nice. hit something, and as you take a closer look, you hit a shark, a large shark. Ooh. Okay. All right, then. Um, before anything else, job and group, would you like to move boat and where? I mean, yeah, I think we should. You can move up to 40 up. feet. Okay, that, okay. I'm going to move yeah. the boat over here then. All right. You feel another. Not so much feel, but as you look over the side again, Jub, you notice that a little bit towards the backside, another shadow in the water try to go after your but failed. Elner, you appear to be after Jeb's attack, he we'll assume he alerts the group. You appear to be at, being attacked by a swarm of sharks and they are vigorously going after certain parts of the boat to try and uh, rip apart some of the wood. Alright. Uh, I'm going to go and grab on to Serox's leg and hold on for dear life. Okie dokie then. <laughs> Sounds good. Arden. Say, are you two going to help as I go over Nope. to the <laughs> side of the boat? I help what I literally cannot see. Okay, Arden, you are at the side of the boat. I will attempt to perceive the shark. You may. Go ahead. Roll perception. I am not good at this. It's right there. I, my you know right. where it is. If you'd like to attack it, feel free. I will shoot it with my crossbow. Okay, you fire your crossbow. Unfortunately, your attack misses. You fired your crossbow, which you thought was the shadow of the shark, but it was. But it was there. I know it you do see for it. Refraction. True. Arden, I'm assuming that's it. So I'm going to move to Serox as Serox hugs the mast. Serox, yeah. you you hugging it? Um, can I? I have. I still have other rope. Can mm -hmm. I like tie some rope to the mast and then around my waist? Yes. All right, I'm going to do that, and then I want to go to the back of the boat where the shark's attacking. Okay, Arden, yeah. Arden, are you going to explain where the shark is to them? Yeah. Okay, got it. Got it. All right, make sure. I'll launch one of my javelins with the rope at where the shark's at. Okay, go ahead. A 22 would hit, oh, and it already rolled damage. Uh, four, got it. Your, your, I... your javelin hits, and it sticks into the target. All right, I want to start reeling it in. You need to make a... Uh, we'll do that next round, actually. Tying the rope around the mast was, was something. Okay, that's fine. Severus. Uh, Severus sees that you've done that, Serox, and he says, Ah, excellent work. Good. Now keep it still. That doesn't sound promising. And... It's a shark. He um he casts Scorching Ray <laughs> at the shark. <laughs> no, light our fucking ship on fire, dude. 
Okay, hold on. Actually, he's going to use Chromatic Orb. He'll use oh, Chromatic he'll Orb. Title. He'll use Chromatic Orb, and he'll choose um, Acid. He loves oh, choosing he'll, Acid. He'll burn a hole in our ship now. Okay, so he's casting Chromatic Orb, and I will... I have to update something. Okay, so that's that's an attack. Um, so I think I have chromatic orb in here. I do. Okay, he hits. Okay, not not a big damage roll, but he does hit the shark with his spell, and it appears that the shark is uh, the the flesh of the shark is uh, wasting away acid. And he says, and he pats you on the back side. He says, nice job, armored friend. Great work. This shark is going to swim forward. This one's swimming forward here. Uh, Serox, you see another shadow in the water go up to the boat, but doesn't attack it just yet. And there's another shadow in the water. This one is uh, close enough to attack the boat. Uh, dealing teen damaged boat. And that's those turns. Uh, these sharks, they're, they're starting to surround. The guys that were jumped in the water, they should have a swim speed of. That's pretty far. Okay. So they are going to swim up to here. And they're going to leap out of the water. Onto the rock. And they're going to attack people on the boat. They're going to throw spears. And let's see, where's the... There it is. They're going to throw spears. Uh, Jub, you appear to be at the side of the boat because you attacked another shark before. So they're going to mm -hmm. throw spears at you. There's two spears coming your way. Yeah, good luck hitting me. <laughs> okay. So you have half cover... So, what is your AC plus one? 17. It's two. Two. Okay, 18 Eight, then. 18. Okay, both miss. Erica. Two creatures leaped out of the water and onto this rock and are attacking Jub. But he he hid behind the um, the railing to avoid How far the attack. the rock? Close enough to throw a dagger at. I have two of those that I'd like to throw. Okay. Okay, that didn't. I did not mean to throw damage for those, but <laughs> okay. I don't. Yeah, they rolled. Roll. Okay, well, twenty-two hits for sure, and so does the seventeen. No sneak on the first one, obviously, or the second one, but okay. That's, the, that's what you think. I'm getting those daggers back. Um, which one did you attack, top or bottom? Uh, top one. Okay, so I, I'm looking at four and three, so seven. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, right. two daggers sink into the shoulders of the creature. Um, Jub, group, where do you want to move the ship? Jub's in the water. He doesn't get to come with the ship. Does no, he? no, no, he's no. he's not. Oh, he's not. Don't worry. <laughs> Jub, don't. Oh my God, he's going in. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. I need my arrow. I need my he's arrow. Saving bot. Where do you want to go? So again, the the cavern is this direction. You can move up, and then your last turn, you could do something like this. You could move up here, close to the shoreline, and then move off screen and. Okay. Alternatively, there's a chest that you think there's a chest because there's a buried spot here, and Severus has definitely eyed it. Maybe we can get it on our way back. He's like, "Hold on, there's a chest Fuck. over there on the landmass. We could we could make a pit Fuck stop." That. Fuck that. Sharks that can't go on land. We're fine. I think let's not make the pit stop now. Uh, Sharks can't bite into a boat, but here we are. Ah, uh, fine. How far can I? I, 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 theoretical question, Otto. Mm -hmm. How far could I get if I dove off the boat and swam towards the island? How far could you get? What's your swim? Sp well, so you're so swimming. Um, I don't know what That's swim speed, speed right? is for for normal movement. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just half. It's half your movement. So whatever your movement is, it, it, your swim speed is half that. So if you dash, you get normal movement. So. Normal movement dash. So if you jumped off the boat and swam, mm -hmm. you could get to the edge of 
I'm gonna wait till we get like next turn we get around it. I have an idea though. Okay. Probably pretty soon. Just stay close to the shore. I have an idea. Well, where is the boat going, everybody? I need to know. Is it gonna go? I mean, the boat's distance? going to the shore, right? Yeah, here or... around this island. We're heading like towards this way, right? Okay, so like the the here. Not not running aground, like... Well, I, I know, I know. It's just, like, there's there's not, like, a better place. Like, yeah, yeah, right, right there. there. Mm -hmm. One more turn and you'd be off-screen and the combat would end. Um, can, can I explain my idea? You can explain your idea if you want. I dive in water. I okay. swim to island. Okay. I grab chest, Missy, step back on the ship. That would, I can do that. That would work. Is, it, is that the would chest work? bare? Chest is buried. You'd have to dig it up. Hmm. I do have. I think I might have my pickaxe still on me because I have an explorer's <laughs> kit. I'm not kidding. Severus goes up to you, Erica, and says, "I see you're going for the chest. Look, if you do, um, I'll, I'll give you some help." I do have a shovel and pickaxe as a part of my explorer's kit. You could use well, it. Oh, I guess we're gonna chill for. It. I could go do. I could go do it. If we realize this chest. Severus says, "Don't worry. I have an idea. You'll be fine." Agree to split the contents. Okay, we'll split it 60-40. I get 60. Mm, I'm getting the chest. I get 60. Okay, I get 60. I agree. If you say Good anything luck. else, we're not getting the chest at all. Uh, okay, fine. 50-50. 60-40 mm -hmm. me. Got it. And uh, next, turn, next turn, I'll go for it. <laughs> okay, Jub? Uh, are there still sharks on the ship? Like, Do they follow us over here? Uh, they're... The ship pulled ahead of them for now. Don't I still have one attached to my harp? You do, so the one that's attached to you ends up <laughs> traveling with us. You got dinner is what you got, boy. I don't think I need to deal with that one. Uh, let me reveal it, actually. I'll just... Um, Okay. I'll just take a shot at the closer... Um, dude they... on the rock, then. Okay, go ahead. Oh, I gotta pull the thingy again. Okay. I assume I hit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Got it. And Anything I'm gonna else? watch the the side. Like I'm gonna prep for uh, the, watching Erica. <laughs> okay. The shark <laughs> that's revealed that's a that's got the javelin. It's just gonna struggle to try and get out of it. So it's gonna do like just a base D twenty strength. Try and. Do I have to do anything to contest that? No. I guess I really can't since you can't do anything. <laughs> it unfortunately can't can't get off. Unfortunately. Um, yeah, because I want you know I the shark wants to go. Elner. Uh, shark are you still on my leg? <laughs> yes. Um. Uh. I guess I'll cast Guidance on Serox. Hmm. Okay, Serox, you have a Guidance on you? Is this for ability checks? Yes. Yeah. And then I will continue to hold on to Serox's leg. Arden. Go ahead. Crossbow. Wow. Cross no. He hit the rock instead. Who used up all his luck on gambling this week? Feels bad. Yeah, it's okay. All right. Xerox. Can I pull the shark in? You could. Strength. Strength or athletic? Athletics. Athletics. Okay. I think your athletics is... Okay, you, you pull the shark up to the boat. Alright. Okay. Am I... Can I pull it onto the boat? Yeah, you pulled it onto the boat is what I meant. I pulled it... Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to stand 10 feet away from it and hack it with my halberd. Oh, okay, you attack it with your halberd. Hey, wait, is it dead or is it alive? It's It's flailing around. Okay, then yeah, I'm attacking with my halberd. But it'll die within a round. Okay, you hit it. Yeah, you hit it. 
Unless I get advantage because it's out of water. Honestly, it it's an out of water advantage. It's like it's not doing it without you. Go ahead. Um, I can re-roll, I can re-roll both. Of those, like, <laughs> I hope so. Fighting. What the? Wow. Holy that crap! Is like, that is like the worst fucking crit I've seen in my. Oh, uh, okay. Life. You uh, you kill it. Yeah. You crit for five damage. <laughs> you kill the shark. I kind of like crit for five damage. With your halberd. Funny. You 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 slice it in half. Cool. I want to retrieve my javelin. Okay, you retrieve your javelin. It's not broken. You retrieve the javelin. Cool. Okay. Severus. Um. It's his turn. He says, "Oh man, that chest looks really good." Ooh, I think maybe I should go. For Then again, the lady did say I could have 60-40 in my hand. I can hear you. You can't hear me as I say that, too. That's the benefit. We literally, we literally right. just talked about this. Now, I have to give you cover. Otherwise, you'll be in trouble. So, probably not. I'm actually probably fine. Like, I could probably, probably get it, honestly. He will cast a minor illusion. And he will produce what looks like a tidal wave. Who's that kind of trick? I guess the Merfolk? Dude, it's Severus. Who knows what the fuck is going on in his head? Not Severus Merfolk. is more coin flip than my fucking league teammates, dude. The tidal wave... Let's do... See how they feel about it. The tidal wave seems genuine. And both of the creatures are... Going to be a um, going to be afraid of that. They have fear now. Daggers, dude. And he says that'll slow him down. Okay, go ahead, little lady. Go get my chest. And this will um, trigger all the other sharks to uh, also get fear. They're not moving any closer. Erica, you've noticed that the creatures on the land. Um, appear to be spooked by the illusion of a tidal wave. And they are just... They are... Um, oh, God. Stupid fly. They are, in, they are in shock. Complete shock. It is your turn. Circle the island. I need 30 feet. And I just take a nice, like, swan dive off the fucking, like, the... What is it called? The mount on the front of the ship? Mm hmm Just a beautiful swan dive. Okay. Towards the island. Okay, and you're at your. You, sure. you get there. Get to where the chest you think it's buried. I see some like freshy, like buried dirt. Yep. Whatever. I'm gonna take the shovel out and see what we find. All right. Roll athletics. Ooh, you know I didn't think this far ahead. <laughs> you you didn't consider that, did you? It's fine. Oh, not fine. You notice it's Erica fine. take one dig of the dirt and then put her hands on her sides and go. It's been a while. Oh no! <laughs> wait, hang on. Hang, wait. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna look at. I mean, I am like an archaeologist. So I'm seeing if I have anything in here that relates to this. Keep going, though. Jub, are you gonna circle the boat around to so Erica? Mm. You gonna? T <laughs> uh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Jub, it's fine. How, I got it. How how far is this step? 30 feet. Yeah, she said she can teleport on, right? It doesn't matter where right? I said 30 feet before I left. <laughs> <laughs> I did say that. All right. I, you think I, mean, I, I said, I, and I quote, circle the island for a bit. I'll be right, right. back. Whatever. I, I mean, Jeff doesn't care. Where do you guys want to go? I mean, I guess we just go in a circle and wait for... We can't I mean, stop moving. The probably, sharks will get us. Probably go like here. Right here yeah, somewhere. Okay, closer. I'm gonna assume you're up there because like the the boat will be kind of off. So I'll mm -hmm. assume you're yeah. there. We'll put Jeb. Put yourself there. Um. Okay. <laughs> become as boat. You have become the boat. Become boat. So that's a dead shark. Elner, I don't think there's much you're gonna do right now. Nope. Yep. Arden, I think the same for you. I will give 
Erica a bardic inspiration to help her with that. Okay. You that. sing a girl pig. Okay. Yeah, that's a little offensive. Bardic inspiration on Erica. Serox, I I don't assume you're doing anything. There's no more sharks nearby that are attacking the ship. Okay. Uh, Is there? No, there are not. They're. Oh. They okay. appear to not be um, pursuing. Okay, then yeah, no, I, I'm gonna go back to the mast. Severus um, will say, "Ah, she's taking forever. God, what's taking her it's so been, long?" It's been literally six seconds. Ah, honestly, if she takes any longer, I think I'll have to handle it myself. Uh, this will be the last turn. They're afraid, Erica. Okay, well, go ahead. I'm gonna try really Athle hard this time, though. Athletics. Okay, by you do a little bit better. You get added d6. You get added d6. Oh, wait, Fuck! Can I take the d4? Nope. <laughs> Roll the d6. God oh my it. god. <laughs> <sighs> well, you're you feel close. You feel close. One more dig will do it. Jub, it appears Erica is still not. Digging the chest out. Hmm. What would you like well, to you do? Feel like, you feel like a decent amount of dirt next to me. Yeah, there's. Like, e Erica's making crazy. progress. <laughs> you, you Jumps next the to the captain like, eh. Ah. You sure you sure in the distance, Erica? Mm. 60, 40, 60, 40, 60, 40. <laughs> <laughs> and Severus is on the boat going 60, 40. <laughs> How about this corner up here? Okay, you go. You move the butt up to the corner. God damn it! And Elder, I don't. I don't imagine there's anything you're doing. Where's? I'm gonna yell at her if she doesn't get off the island this turn. We're leaving her. <laughs> Arden, again, you, you gave her inspiration. You gave it to her. But like it's a little toxic. I don't you know wasted I'm his trying. gift. I'm trying my. I did not waste it. <laughs> I just. I just thought he was worse than he actually is. Yeah, it wasn't inspiring. It wasn't inspiring enough. You didn't. Yeah. I could have sworn you should have only had a Serox shot level two. Sarox? Still no sharks. Before. Still no sharks right now. Still hugging the mast. E68 design. Severus appears to have gotten more impatient. Around him, he goes. I'm. I'm taking care of this myself. I can't trust this girl. And he jumps into the water onto the land. And he um, he's now next to you, Erica, like, what's taking so long? I'm digging. Ah. Digging is slow. Don't worry. I, mean, I can I'm handle like five this. Five foot tall. Like, I mean, Let's I'm see here. I'm almost there, actually. Like, it's, it's pretty blow, close. Blow up the Not close it. enough. He's going to pull up a ninth level spell. Power word dig. You see him pull out <laughs> his shovel. It's hot. <laughs> and he <laughs> he helps complete <laughs> he helps complete your your digging and the, the chest is there. And he goes, Well, since I did extra work, 70 30 in my Nope. And he says, Come on, pick up the chest, hurry up. I, can I see the ship from the hole? Is it that deep be deep? It's not that deep. Is the chest heavy? It's not too heavy for you. It's like for oh for you, it's all it's heavy. It's a little heavy, yeah. For you, it's heavy. Do you pick it up? You, yep. you pick it up. Okay. And I miss you step to the ship. He said, oh, "Where'd she go?" See you there. Oh, okay. And he casts Dimension Door. Okay, but like that's like not fair. <laughs> and he, you see him appear next to the mast of the ship and goes. Whatever you can do, I can do. But you da, spent da, a higher da. spell slot and was a waste. He literally could have teleported you both, but he didn't. <laughs> he was. I think he was going to. He was going. Oh. Um. But she. Do I want him death. touching me? And uh, at this point, you guys are just going to sail away. All right. Three turns too late. Three turns later, we finally <laughs> escape the sharks. We're gonna find some love letters in this chest. I hope, yeah, I was gonna say, I hope the chest is fucking it. All right. So for the chest, I need Erica, the one who got it, to roll 
investigation. I would love to. I'd like to turn it so that it opens towards him, so I get the first look in, though. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Today's not my day. Gosh. Bones, bones, the chest bones, is filled bones. with rum. Aww. He says, what are you owing for? That's some good drink. And he pulls it out hey. and uncorks it. <laughs> I um, I, I shout to um, uh, my shirtless friend. I think this might entertain you. And uh, Melonius walks over and goes, eh, it's not the best. But it'll do. Hmm. And the, uh, the crew is ecstatic that you brought them rum. <laughs> They are they're they're shouting your praises. I find that I find like that nicest looking bottle, and I give it to the captain. Like, thanks for letting me copy that map. She says, "No problem." She says, "Ooh, haven't seen this in a while." I've seen it never. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fairly legal. <laughs> oh my god! Right now, what is the legal ship? drinking age, by the way, in this continent? <laughs> is there one? I mean, I have just no a, where you can honestly, honestly, I I wouldn't. But I would guess like sixteen or higher. I'm probably fine, but it's not like they're checking IDs at the door. Yeah, I know, but like I look like a child. Probably. Yeah, no, like you you wouldn't pirate ship. Yeah, no. Oh my god. Yeah, the pirate ship they don't care. I'm just saying right. in general, like. So at this point, you're sailing towards the uh, this cavern, um, and once you get near the cavern, the uh, the ship um, lays anchor. And the captain says, can't go any further, unfortunately. Yep. The uh, boat won't exactly fit in there. So, we have some rowboats on the side. Feel free to take one. We will hold here until you come back. And should you not return by, uh, by morning, we will assume you've... That's only a couple hours. That's not... We'll assume you've perished. A little bit. Okay. <laughs> Can we at least wait till like midday, maybe? You no, know, the more you wait here and tell me that, the time you wait. Yeah, but like it's not on my dime. Okay, yeah, let's leave. <laughs> okay. uh, Elder grabs Erica and says, "Come on, hurry up!" Okay. And there's okay. a and there's a boat on the side of the ship. That you can take and Hardy plus Severus. Somehow all fits on it without causing any problems. I take and the you middle are... seat again. Okay, he takes the middle <laughs> seat. Makes sense. And you are ready to row. And let's see. At this point, why don't we stop here? Pause here for So Let's pause here for today. Short session, but this is a good pause point actually, because uh, the next part uh, counter. So we'll pause this this one for two weeks now, and we'll conclude the uh, encounter and and afterwards. That'll pretty much be the best line. You can hang out in the town and do it, much like you did. Welcome to do. And I'll have updated uh, stuff to do, like bounties, like I did. I'll have one or two updates, and then one additional one. So, uh, for experience. Yes. Since I'm Is sure that, that was the next thing. So, you killed a reef shark, which is 100 experience total. And while you didn't def necessarily kill those enemies... You did navigate them well, so let me count out how many there were. I beat up some dirt. Good. One, yeah, two, you, you three, four. Yeah, you also beat it up very poorly. Okay, listen here, you little shit. <laughs> Let's see here. So I've got one, two, three, so... I did what we like to call my best. My best. Your best wasn't good enough. It wasn't. I'm just saying, man, if that D4 was a fucking D4. Right. So we have my D6 was a D4. plus two, three. Can't even five, look because 5 is not working right now, dude. That's fucking tragic. 600. 
Uh, so the total is 1,275 XP divided by... I thought that's how much we were getting. <laughs> I was like, yes! Divided yes! by your group of, what, seven, right? 125% XP! Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so everybody gets 183 experience. I mean, technically, there was five of us. That's a level up, I'm pretty sure. It is. It's 1,053, 183, you said? 183. Yeah, so that brings us to 1059. 10, 1069, got it. 10, 1052, is that what you said? I'm doing it for, for the other two, so. Yeah, 1052. Ooh, hit dice rolling, hit dice rolling, hit dice rolling. All right, all right, all right, all right. Big money, big money. Come on, Miami, Miami, Miami. You just like roll hit dice, right? Plus con. Hit dice already has your con. Yeah. Okay. So, really yep, you guys should be leveled up now. Yay. Ooh. No, I just no whammy, I just no added fifty percent no more HP, dude. Elner, did you just get eight? Eight? Holy crap! Did I? Got an eight. I... Oh, okay, cool. Eight plus con. Mine's below ab. I mean, my that? con is zero. Con is ten. Yeah. So zero. you know, what did what did I'll, Jub get? I'll take a seven every day of the week. What do you hit, do? hit your hit die. Use your hit die. Just hit your hit die. Yeah. If Kuru gets a mass, okay, five is like. I got enough HP. I just I like I I went from eight to twenty one in two levels. It's been a good couple levels for me. All right, guys, that's that'll do for the session. I'm gonna go Yay. ahead and close the stream.